Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for watching. So today I want to talk about my favorite books that I've been reading um, in the past and that I am reading right now. So let's go ahead and start. So the first one is Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I've been reading this book. I've read it before, maybe a year ago, but I chose to reread it because it's so good. Uh, it's the same author as The Power of Now. Some of you might know, some of you might not. Uh, if you want to learn about the ego, spirituality, um, the pain body, how pain manifests itself in your body and how it might control you or um, be part of the actions that you take. It's a really good book. Uh, definitely in my top three. So next is Harvard Business Review on Women and Leadership. It doesn't need a lot of uh, explanation. It's, it's a lot of articles combined uh, or put all together in one book about women in leadership, management, um, it's very inspiring for women if you want to either start a company or feel more powerful working with a company. Um, on the back it says, this book will inspire you to better understand the path women must take to leadership. Learn the root causes of the barriers that exist for women in the workplace. Manage a more effective gender diversity program. So it helps. I feel it helps women feel empowered in the workplace, but also in life in general. So really good. So next up is my, one of my favorites, Prakriti, but uh, your Ayurvedic constitution. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I went to India twice to practice Ayurveda. And I've learned a lot. And I got this book in India, in Kerala. And it, it teaches me a lot about the different constitutions and what foods are right for you, what environments are right for you, what ways of moving your body are right for you. So basically this is Prakriti, this is the way you're born. Um, and yeah, I recommend you to read it if you're interested in um, alternative healing and Ayurveda and meditation and yoga and herbs and all of this. Very, very, very good. So the next one is Lessons, My Path to a Meaningful Life by Giselle Bunchen. It's a life story, biography by Giselle. She explains how um, everything in her life happened to her and what she had to do to get there, um, what helps her stay calm, and I really recommend to read it. So next is The Alchemist by Paolo Culo. Um, I read it maybe three or four times. The first time I read it, I was probably 14 or 15 and I finished it in three hours. I thought it was such a good book. It helps me a lot. And sometimes I just open it to reread some parts because it really opens the mind and helps me uh, answer some questions if I have some doubts in my life. So please. Then I have another Harvard Business Review on emotional intelligence. Basically, all the best articles written about emotional intelligence put together in one book. Um, really good. I've, I read it maybe a year ago. So basically, this book puts together all the articles, all the best articles about emotional intelligence to help you become a better leader in life. Even if this is leader in your personal life, leader in your business life, leader in your family life. Um, I think it's great. I finished it and really good. It says to inspire you to monitor and channel your moods and emotions, which I think we all need. <laughs> then it will help you manage conflict and regulate your emotions within your team. So within your team of business, the book is business based, but you can also apply it to your personal life, your relationships, your family, your friends and everything. Um, it helps you to react to tough situations with resilience. Better understand your strengths, weaknesses, needs, values and goals, which is very important in business and work. It will help you develop emotional agility. Um, big recommendation. 
So next up is The Awakening of Intelligence by J. Krishnamurti. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me posting about it in my stories maybe a couple of months ago. Um, I've been reading, I haven't finished this book. I've been reading it maybe for the last year and a half. And I don't read it constantly. I open it sometimes because it's different talks um, by J. Krishnamurti put into this book. Questions people ask him, he answers them on um, conflict, fear, violence, uh, religious experiences, personal experiences, love, emotions, self-knowledge, everything. Um, yeah, really good. I recommend you to read it if you want to learn more about yourself, about your being, basically. So please. Then I have Grit by Angela Duckworth. I haven't finished this book. It's called The Power of Passion and Perseverance. So that is basically what grit is. It will help you to be more motivated, dedicated, hardworking for whatever you want to reach in your life. If it's personal, if it's business, if it's family, if it's dreams. I read half of it or a little bit more than half. And I just feel like it's such a good book. It's taught me a lot about grit and everything. And I think you should read it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you got inspired to read more, learn more, um, get to know yourself more. And I hope you got to know me better by seeing what I read, um, what I enjoy learning about. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already or give me a thumbs up. And I hope I'll see you for my next video. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy your day. Love.